Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, the Frosty Planet. We uh, have been ignoring our Phloxen for a while, but now that I'm thinking about wood uh, power generation, I'm going to want to kind of amp up my Phlox farming here. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to make a critter feeder down here. And I'm also going to make a critter drop off down here. And I'm going to see if we can free range some Phloxen. And I'm also going to see... These do need power. Okay. It might be okay. I'm going to put one egg incubator here. And hopefully we have enough power for that. And I'm going to try to get some some flux egg, you know, production going. And so I'll decrease this down to seven because I want to say we can store up to nine. I don't know if the incubating egg in here counts, but basically I want them to lay, you know, some eggs and then I'll move extra ones here. So that'll work. Uh, this is close to being done. Our little temperature project here. Looks like Edison's gonna go finish it off. Beautiful. Okay. So then we just need someone to power that for a bit to get the ethanol pumped in. And there's more ethanol somewhere, right? Yeah, there's a bunch more over here. Which is great. And what is that? A lumen quartz? could carve it into something beautiful. I probably should think about like art. Um, might as well put one there because we're not doing anything else. Decor plus 20% from, from granite. So, you know, it can make people a little happier. Only dupes who have creativity can uh, create those. Okay, here, here we go. Our first ethanol. Beautiful. And we'll see if this works. It should. And it should just get blocked by there. Uh-huh. Okay. Sweet, sweet. And then, I, basically, I could say if it's flow there, and then it should flow around. Yeah. And then our temp shift plates are going to take a lot of that temperature. Perfect. Now, again, I don't know, like, do the temp shift plates exchange with the other temp shift plates? I think they do. Yeah, I just don't know all the rules. The rules are confusing. But let me uh, get some igneous rock insulated tiles there. Oh, how do I do this? Okay, they can come in on this side to destroy those. Right, right, right. That'll work. Okay. Yeah, I actually shouldn't have done what I just did. I just cooled this off even more. Um... There's quite a bit of water in here, though, so I should be okay. And it's all 10 degrees Celsius. Sweet. So once that spreads out, that'll melt some more ice eventually. Cool. I'm digging this. Oh, this game is a blast. I'm still so sad about this discovery. Um, it does mean I should build... Did I ever unlock... Um, water sieve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, does this produce anything? It produces polluted dirt. And... Five kilograms of polluted water requires one kilogram of sand. And what, uh... What do these produce per usage again? 11.7. So we basically need two kilograms 
a little bit more of sand per day per dupe. So I need 14 kilograms of sand per day. 14 kilograms of sand can come from 14 kilograms of granite. So, like, how much do we get per... Oh, granite is... Holy crap. 1840 kilograms of granite per block. So that's... How much did I say per day? Two kilograms per dupe per day, so 14. So I get about seven days from 100 kilograms, 70 days from one ton. So one of these blocks, at least for the amount of dupes I have right now, is enough sand to filtrate... Is filtrate a word? Filter? Is filtrate different than filter? Is filtrate even a word? Filtration is a word, and that's different than filtering. I think they're different words. Anyway, all that to say, um, I need a bigger bathroom, which is not uh, something I have thought about in a while. Now that I have seven dupes, I don't know if two toilets is enough. Hmm... Do we even need a sink? Does that make people happier? Uh, room overlay. Requirements. Flush toilet. Plumbed wash station. Yeah, okay, so we do need that. Uh, anyway, where is the dang thing? Let's build it. Water sieve. Produces polluted dirt, so we will need to handle that. Um... Could just go right here. And then the input. So how does this work again? So we input polluted water, we output regular water. The problem is the temperature. It's gonna continually get colder and colder. Um. I'll deal with that later. For now, this is a loop that is going to turn duplicate P into oxygen and some amount of excess power, which cracks me up. Does this use power though? It does. But the water that you net is probably enough to power it, right? What's a kilogram of water in terms of joules? Um, the electrolyzer, one kilogram makes, yeah, about 800 watts. And there's probably a better way to utilize the gas pump power. I don't know. All that to say, um, I need airflow tiles here. And then... Plumbing, liquid pipe, liquid valve, liquid shut off. Is there not a a sensor that senses? That's a submerged thermo sensor. What I want is one that basically... Oh, how does... Okay, this is where my knowledge of oxygen not included would be helpful. Like, how do you do priorities? Um, I have no memory of how priorities work. Basically, we just want to prioritize the water to go into the lavatory and other stuff, and then excess water will get dumped back somewhere. But I don't remember... Um how that all works. So I'll BRB. Okay, I'm back. And I found a useful cheat sheet online that kind of says the priorities. So basically, a gas bridge will, because it's, it's almost like a little vacuum, or fluid, same thing. But like that little white, you know, intake is always going to fill when it can. And then, so this is, uh, never mind. I'll be back again. Okay, well, it's slightly frustrating. Um, everybody online is like, just use bridges. And while I appreciate that wisdom, I also find it frustrating when people don't 
answer the dang question as well. It's like, yeah, I think bridges are better to use in most cases, but it would also be really handy to know what the rules are for T-junction splitting. And it seems like people are saying it's a 50-50 split. Um, not sure. But uh, one thing we can do here is basically I want to send all of the water that comes through the sieve into this line. And so there will be a fluid, a liquid bridge. And there's no insulated liquid bridges, which does worry me a bit. Um, so I think I can just do this. And then we just flow past it like this. And then we can dump all our water. Mm -hmm. I haven't figured out what to do with all my excess water yet, so I'm going to dump it down here. Maybe this is a bad idea. But uh, cancel. Oh, it won't let me cancel all because I'm not in the all menu. There we go. So we do that and then plumbing, um, insulated pipe from the outputs here. We'll also do a liquid bridge right there. This actually works out perfectly. So this prioritizes going here, but it will overflow because it always gets vacuumed into that if it can. But if we happen to have extra polluted water, it does have somewhere to go. So that's kind of handy. I'll actually just leave it that way. And then this is doing the same thing. If we need water for washing or for oxygen and hydrogen, we send it. Otherwise, it'll get dumped down there. And then we'll open up a little spot. And then here, that bottle emptier and pump and all the tepidizer and everything, we should just be able to ignore that. The only problem now is the temperature of the water. So we're going to need something that keeps the water inside these pipes from eventually freezing. Because this is now a closed loop, I assume the polluted water comes out. Oh, I actually don't remember. Isn't there heat deletion with polluted water? Hold on. This might be a thing. Um, I'm faintly remembering that the polluted water comes out of a lavatory at a, at a fixed temperature. Output polluted water will be 37 degrees regardless of input temperature. Aha. Okay, so what that means is we are going to not have any issues because the lavatories are going to be giving us warm water back, 37 degrees Celsius. Perfect. And since they do that, the water sieve will be getting 37 degree stuff, etc, etc. Okay, I also just found out bridges do not transfer heat in any way, so I don't need to worry about that. All right, airflow tiles there. How's everything going here? Why have those still not gotten built? That feels a bit odd. Um, probably never gonna move, is it? Will it if I build, if I build a tile there, will that convince it? move over. Let's try it out. Am I out of igneous rock? Is that why those aren't being built? No, that's not the reason. I guess they're just doing other things. Just uncovered some more oxalite here. 
How's temperature looking? Temp shift, ice tiles are definitely helping. Alright, Luan, do you have your second skill point yet? Yeah, there we go. And I really wanted that. Improved carrying. You can just be a carrier. Improved carrying is the absolute best. I feel like everyone should have that. I didn't realize it more than triples their ability to carry stuff. Obviously, I'm being a bit facetious. Like, there will be plenty of colonies where... Cer you know, if you're being efficient with your dupes, certain dupes are never carrying anything, and of course they wouldn't want that. Um, I want pike apples here. Max of, I'll just do 10, 36, critters, I have all the critters. So that sh should then have them move some boxes down there. Auto sweeper. It does require power, so. We're still a ways from that. And is this 37? No, it's not. Uh-oh. Did they change that mechanic? No, it seems like the polluted water is just cooling off. I think that's all that's happening. Um, powering... Control load 600 watts, I think. Yeah, I don't really know how it works. I don't know if it's load or production that can cause an overload, or both. Potentially both. All right, now... No automation wire connected. I think that's fine. Because all that it... It just sends a green signal when it requires charging. But this should still see the battery... Anyway. So that would just be to send a signal to some sort of generator that it needs to fire up. I think we're okay. Uh, this system needs a battery, though. Whoops. I forgot to build that. Yeah, I don't think we actually need an automation wire, but I can connect one to get rid of the red icon. Alright, getting those built, finally. Yay! Incubator's done! Continuous Flock Spawn Egg. Okay. Sweet! So, no egg available, that's fine. That's because these are crowded. So I need to wrangle... Do they not auto-wrangle? If a is maybe there's a wrangling station. No. Critter pickup. That's what it would be. So we need a critter pickup in here. We'll get that built. Okay. Hey, it worked. It did work. Okay. Perfect. So then we'll be able to get all the ethanol out. And now I should be able to deconstruct these insulated tiles. And spread out all this water. Hopefully it won't get too cold. I also just realized there's a lot of 
cold rock here. So I should probably sweep this. But again, I kind of want the water to stay here. So let's sweep the granite. Igneous. Igneous, granite, sweepage. Get out of here. There we go. Let's see what happens to the temperature here in a sec. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, there's some polluted water in here. Forgot about that. And what is, is that off gases? Huh. Will it eventually just disappear because it off gasses all of itself? That would be nice. What is that? More igneous rock? Sweep that, please. Okay. Enable that. Pump the rest of the ethanol. And we should be good. The thermosensor is going to do the work for us here. Alright, and critter pickup. Okay, so max of seven critters. I will choose... Wow. Um, I guess just some random algae. Why not? Sieve, pipe blocked. Um, yeah, I need to disable this pump. Disable building. Gosh, these doors are so slow. Oh man. Alright. So that's disabled. Um, so once we've used up all this water, we should be okay. Cool. And why don't I do something like this? CO2 is still great. Are these now no longer crowded? Yay, they're happy. Well, somebody should lay an egg soon. And I guess what I'm uncertain about is will these get automatically groomed just because they're tame? Like, will our grooming duplicate grab them and bring them to the, to the uh, grooming station? I assume and hope. We'll see if it works. Ooh, what's going on here? Oh, right, this is just our excess water. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, uses sand. How much sand do I even have? 1,800 kilograms, so I definitely need more sand. Um, we need to power this thing. Heavy watt wire. Okay, no automation wire connected. Let's get rid of that annoying signal. Okay, so let's make some sand here. Let's make another ton of sand. And that will last me how long? Uh, I already forgot. I'm gonna need... Her duplicate 
two kilograms a day. So we're doing 14 kilograms a day. Yeah, that should last a while. I feel like this is a less efficient path. Did I lock these? Maybe it is more efficient than going up and over and down. But I'm just gonna lock them because there's warm water in there and I think I'm just gonna try to keep that warmth in for now because these are already starting to get too cold again. And our temp shift plates have warmed up. I need some of this cold ethanol to route over there. Yeah, I can't mop up that polluted water. That's gonna bother me. That's gonna bother me. Um, what does the polluted oxygen again? Polluted dirt into, that speeds up the conversion. Um, I forget what grabs polluted oxygen. Out of, I mean, I guess I would have to get a gas pump to just eventually pull it all out. Fertilizer comes from polluted water and phosphorite. Um, yeah, punch it. Punch it, punch it, punch it. Make that sand. Sweet. Okay, and I also should make this smart battery. Things are looking pretty good for our duplicants. Yeah, how do I how do I manage polluted oxygen? Um, polluted oxygen deodorizer is that what it is? That's what it is. Okay, so we'll get one of those going. Let me look up a quick uh, gas density oxygen not included. Up the gas density chart. Stacking of layers. So polluted oxygen. Wait, why is it not on the list? Interesting. I would have thought there would just be a simple list somewhere. Oh, here it is. So polluted oxygen and oxygen are the same, unfortunately. Huh. That is unfortunate. So it's just gonna randomly mix. Okay, good to know. So that means I'm just gonna need a few, once the research is done, a few skimmers. Okay, and let's do a smart storage bin. Here. What is, see, what is the power? This is where I wish something would tell you a little bit more. 60 watts, when? Always? Just when it's full, when it's not full, you know, like, when, when is that 60 watts being used? Because if it's 60 watts constantly, that actually adds up to be quite a bit of power. Um, but if it's just 60 watts at a certain time, like, it needs 60 joules to send a signal for one second, you know, like, I, I don't know. I guess that's... I don't know how that works. Um, maybe we'll find out. I need a smart battery, though. Like, 
yesterday. And you are going to be sand. And then I guess I would need an auto sweeper. Or put it at priority six. And send a green signal when the bin is full. Interesting. That's actually not what I want. I want it to send a green signal when it's above a certain mass. But not just when it's full. That's not quite what I wanted, actually. Interesting. Um, conveyors, probably not what we want. I guess some sort of conveyor meter. I don't know. Huh. Interesting. Because it'll stop storing, I assume, when... I don't know. Let's try it. Wait, where is the sweeper? I can't find buildings in this game. No, I can't. sweeper. Where is the auto sweeper? It's n literally not in automation. Not in utilities. Not in furniture. I would have thought maybe in the base because that's where storage stuff is, but it's not there. Shipping? There it is. I need more refined metal. Yeah, so my thought is like, what if I just want it to stop when I have 4,000 kilograms of sand, but if I have more than 4,000 kilograms of sand, I still want it to get stored here. Does that make sense? Um, that's kind of like, yeah. And I also need, uh, I guess, a... Uh, need you to send the other color of signal. Uh, <laughs> automation grid has failed me. I need a, a flipper. I need a color flipper. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Computers. Not gate. Yes, I need a, I need a not. Excuse me, can you not? So love to do power differently, but we still aren't quite quite ready for that. Not quite. We're getting there. Still no egg? Hmm. They're happy. Wonder how often do you at a hundred percent it lays a new egg, set it so it once one every six days, I guess. Okay.
Temperature is still great. Yeah. I also just realized 70 degrees would be very bad. Uh, let's say like 40. Because if this is 70 degrees, it's not gonna cool off the water very much anymore. So I probably need the water in here to be like 40 degrees at the warmest before it wouldn't provide enough cooling to keep that from boiling. Okay, we got all our ethanol pumped out so I can deconstruct all this. Get all that back. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, here's another example where I need prioritization. Um, the water that I am producing needs to be delivered first to the bathrooms and such. And then I can go up to make oxygen out of it. Who knew that you could breathe piss? <laughs> it's that easy. Alright, can I look at... Um, cycle report for specific objects? Can you, can you look? Search. Like, I want to know about wood. Hmm. But that might not be a thing I can look at. I guess I would just have to manually check. Looks like I have a lot of wood. Um, I might turn on my wood burner for a while. Because that's connected to this main power network. Yeah, which most of my basic stuff is running off of. The animal stuff, the research, the cooking. Yeah, let's turn that on. That'll produce a crap ton of CO2, but that's fine. That's fine for now. Maybe not forever. Still no eggs. Where are we at? 24. That one was at 52. So we're gonna get a bunch of eggs at the same time. I probably need multiple incubators, but their power is higher than I'll be able to provide. Two tons of cinnabar. I guess it's not very valuable, but whatever. I'll take it. No discovered recipes. Oh, I need the right ingredients, I guess. Okay, well, there's my knot gate. So now I can automate knot gate. Oop. Ah. So which one's the in? So the out is the little one. The in is the big one. So I need that. And then automation wire. Did it? No. Ah. Not gate. Sorry, I thought that thing in the middle was a wire, and I was like, no, we don't want a wire there. Uh, but it's just part of the, the look of it.
I'll put the green signal. Red signal. Okay, perfect. That's what we want. And then we'll set this to infinite granite to sand. So that should basically just keep us filled up with sand here. Doubly so if I have a sweeper. What? Oh, that building is a four by four? Yes? Yeah. Okay. Which tiles are actually occupied? The three, it looks like? Yeah, the, the little, the one on the end doesn't actually count. Apparently neither do the ones on the side. They do there. What the heck? Oh, it's just letting me do that because I would dig it out. Never mind. Alright, so we'll do an auto sweeper here. Power. This is maybe not a, the place I need it, but... And is this actively... Power consumed... That's for the whole circuit. Yeah, it is just constant for the smart storage bin. Interesting. What happened here? Uh-oh. Was there a polluted ice? I wasn't paying attention. Did somebody make a mess? Oh, yeah, somebody probably made a mess because I never connected this. You guys have probably been screaming at your at your screens. Um Yeah, I can put that there. Something like that. And then that. Wow. Big mistakes were made. Um, I'm glad that's still hooked up. So... Those need to be top priority. Like, get that... Get that done, y'all. And then... Once that's done... Then we turn this pump back on real quick. Top priority. Which means I need to unlock that. Top priority. Okay. Now people won't make a mess. Okay, now I can turn the turn it off after that much. That should be enough water. No! I did it backwards! Ah! Screw it all! Oh jeez. Alright, disable. No. Yeah, deconstruct that pipe. Deconstruct this one. Oh my goodness. Ah! And then plumbing insulated. You connect there. You connect there. There we go. That will prioritize the bathrooms. Sheesh. Sorry, y'all. Alright, let me lock the door again. And that should thankfully be done. So yeah, now we're prioritizing the flow to the bathrooms. And then we're prioritizing the polluted flow to the sieve. Okay. Let's find out if that all works. Hopefully no more messes. So this is what I was worried about. It's not getting... It's not getting groomed. Um, I 
It must be built within a dedicated room. So since they're glum, its metabolism is minus 80. So it won't grow its scales at all. Hmm. Building melted. Oh. Snow tiles. Yeah, that'll do it. Those should be airflow anyway. Interesting. So then... It says minus 80% or 20% metabolism, but its skill growth is zero? That doesn't make any sense. Shouldn't it be one-fifth? Hmm. I could have sworn there was a way to do free-range animals. But I'm not figuring that out. Oh, it's because they're not eating? Hmm. It seems like this is automatically dispensing food for hungry critters. Okay, well, after some Googling, I think I have discovered that they don't do anything in this context, unfortunately. So I'm going to... What am I going to do? I'm going to deconstruct this. I'm going to make a door here. And I'm just going to go ahead and... Make a whole another uh, ranch. I'm gonna make a ranch, I think. All right, what's going on over here these days? So auto sweeper didn't just it just failed to sweep. What's going on with that? Hmm. Okay, let's, let's watch what happens. It should sweep the sand into the smart storage bin. Hey, it worked. Cool. Alright, what's going on gas-wise? Eh, we got a bit of a mess. Uh, let me get those deodorizers. Um, I never finished researching. And call that a day. CO2 is starting to spread. Let's open this up. As well as that. Just to get better. Better CO2 flow. So these Beautiful alveoviras can keep doing their thing. Up with that. We'll put a tile here. Put a door there. Put another grooming station. The other thing I'm curious about is can we shear animals from a different ranch at that shearing station? Or do I need another shearing station in here? Time will tell. And it seems that the... Yep, the water's working properly. Does that provide enough oxygen? I wonder if that provides enough net oxygen per dupe per day. 
Probably not, right? So they're producing 6.7 kilograms of water per day net. And that will turn into mm, about five kilograms of oxygen net. And a dupe per day breathes 50 kilograms of oxygen, right? 60. 100 per second. Yeah. And yeah, 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 60 kilograms a day. Okay, so they're, they can, they can breathe their own, uh, bathroom visit, but that only gets about 10% of their oxygen. So then that's where these guys come in. Obviously, there's also, you know, just ice melting that I can do, but I'm not super worried about that right now. What just happened? I don't know what that noise was. Food has decayed. Is it not cold enough here? It's refrigerated. Hmm. Interesting. Refrigerated. Ah, I need below 18 degrees. Interesting. How's my CO2 doing with the wood burner going? Seems fine. Battery is sufficiently full, so why are you still running? Green signal enable building, red signal disable building. So we want green signal. Uh, I don't know. Do 30 to 60. And that way we only burn wood when we need to. And then fuel request can happen whenever. Yay, decontamination's done. So now I can build a deodorizer here and there and everywhere. Uh, where's polluted oxygen chilling? Just little bits randomly. Over here, it's annoying because of there's some polluted water in there. But I'll build a deodorizer there, there. Why not have one up here? One in the mess hall, definitely one over here. Oh, there's that glitch again. It's not showing the picture. Super weird. All right. And then I could build a carbon skimmer at some point if I want to. Which essentially uses, in a way, if you think about it, it uses sand to delete carbon dioxide. But then the sand is turned into dirt. But only at one fifth rate. Interesting. But yeah, that'll just change the dirt into the polluted dirt into regular dirt. Stable's almost done. Oh, the egg! Huzzah! How fast is that gonna incubate? Uh, four days instead of 20 days. Oh, deodorizers need power? That's annoying. Is that new? I seem to remember being able to randomly place them around my base last time. I feel like that's a new thing. That's obnoxious. You really do need power all over your entire base, don't you? 
Yeah, because now that just requires... Ugh, that's horrible. I don't know if I like that. And I could be totally wrong. It's maybe always been a thing, but... Um, now I just need to build wires everywhere for these stupid things. And the one over here needs a heavy watt wire. Briar seed, I don't know what that is. Interesting. Generator idle. This seems to be working, right? Wait, no, that... That shouldn't have been that full. When it gets down to six kilojoules, this should fire on again. There we go. And then it should turn off when we get to 12 kilojoules. If we get to 12 kilojoules, that is. Using up all our power right now. Wait, clay? Produces clay? What the heck? Clay. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. I didn't know it would produce... I assumed it would be, like, polluted dirt again or something. Alright, I'm gonna watch this turn off the wood burner. Also, someone should be delivering wood to that. There we go. Should turn off here in a couple seconds. Okay. This seems to work properly. Should keep the low threshold a little higher then. No reason to. No reason to keep the battery less charged. And yeah, it does make a lot of CO2. But that's okay, because we have all our skimming. Eventually the CO2 will build up a bit and we'll have to turn off. That thing. Building melted. Snow tiles are melting. The ice caps are melting, huh? I really should replace all of my snow tiles. And I'm out of cinnabar. Let's get some more going here. Alright, is there anywhere else I have snow tiles I need to be concerned about? I don't think so. I don't think so. Alright, critter drop off, max critters. How big is this stable? 45? And it's 12 per flocks, I think? 12 per flux? Yeah. Um, so I need... I can do four floxes if I open those tiles up. Four critters, that's not very many. But I can wrangle... Wrangle... Get two in there. So 
there's seven in here, that means there's an egg somewhere. Yeah. We gotta get those promptly swept. Of course, there's no place to store them. Okay, well, this episode probably needs to be done. So, uh, yeah, this game just flies by. It's so fun. So many things to do. Time flies when your dupes are doing work. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next episode.